distressed Catherine seen choked up in tears during the Queen's service, loss is too much to handle. Princess of Wales Kate Middleton honored the late Queen on Wednesday during a lying in state ceremony at Westminster Hall. It was claimed that William and his wife looked highly distressed as they struggled to hold it together during the painful procession. To be specific, it is not hard for royal fans to realize she appeared highly distressed during the service as she stood alongside Prince William, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle. Furthermore, body language expert Katia Loizo shared insights into what she thinks the four royals were feeling during the service. She analyzed one photo from the day, which showed William and Kate looking miserable, while Harry and Meghan, standing behind them, looked at one another, offering an interesting, non-verbal perspective. She said Prince Harry and Meghan used both contact tie signs, such as holding hands, and non-contact tie signs, such as postural echoing, their bodies orientated inwards towards one another, and mutual gaze in a mutual display of support and reassurance. In contrast, clearly grief-stricken and lost in their own thoughts, Prince William and Princess Kate keep a formal distance in keeping with the formality and seriousness of the event and Prince William's position as heir to the throne. The women of the royal family all showed their grief in different ways as they attended Wednesday's lying in the state service for Queen Elizabeth II. On the most somber day since the Queen's passing, Kate, the Princess of Wales, appeared slightly grief-stricken as she followed the coffin from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall by car. She was joined by Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, who swallowed back tears, and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Standing shoulder to shoulder with their husbands, Prince William and Prince Harry, Kate and Meghan seemed to blink back tears before the monarch's coffin, which was draped with the royal standard and raised on a catafalque. According to body language expert Judy James, when Kate entered the palace hall, she did appear to be slightly grief-stricken, as Sophie, with some heavy swallowing, pursed lips, and narrow-looking eyes, suggested she was close to tears. The newly appointed prince and princess of Wales lowered heads, furrowed brows, and tightly compressed lips showed that the couple were trying to hold in tears throughout the service as well. Ms. Loisel said, the more pronounced lip compression, as is the case with Prince William, his lips pressed together, rolling inwards until they have completely disappeared, indicate extreme levels of discomfort and stress. It's been a week since Queen Elizabeth died at her Scottish retreat, Balmoral, at the age of 96. Since the royal family has spent much of their time in the public eye, either viewing floral tributes to the Queen at their homes across their nation, solemnly attending ceremonial events, or accompanying her coffin as it journeyed from Balmoral to London, unlike other families mourning their matriarch, the royal family must carry out numerous public engagements amidst their grief. A number of videos have since surfaced on social media from those who were in the crowd, which show exactly what the Princess of Wales was saying to members of the public as she accepted their condolences on the Queen's death. In a video shared via TikTok and Instagram, Kate can be heard saying, It's very strange being her without Her Majesty, referring to the royal residence where the Queen used as her home since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. She's touched everyone's lives globally. Kate added, reminiscing about the significance of her late grandmother-in-law and her reign. The Princess of Wales has previously joked that the other members of the royal family poke fun at her for the amount of time she spends chatting during public walkabouts. In one sweet clip, she explains how Windsor feels very strange without Her Majesty. A mourner outside Buckingham Palace once told Kate, You look very tired. Royal Mom replied, We are all very tired, but the crowds and people's support is keeping us going. Kate also reportedly revealed that her eldest son understood the loss of his great-grandmother more than his younger siblings. Despite the ongoing changes, the Prince of Wales explained how he and Kate were keen for the children to have as much continuity in their lives as possible.